What does uh, resurrection, the word resurrection, mean to a first century Jew? Because it's not the same thing as saying, what does afterlife mean? Or somehow surviving death. I mean, there were lots of Greeks who speculated, Greeks and Romans and others, about some kind of an afterlife. That's a universal. Uh, it was the exception, the person who said there is no hope. You will see that written on tombstones. You will see that in some of the ancient literature. But most people believe there is some kind of survival of the soul after death. But resurrection literally means standing up. Anastasis in the Greek. Kum in the Aramaic and, and in the Hebrew. The body came back to life. Not like a zombie, not the, not the same old body, but there was a bodily restored uh, glorified, never to die again, resurrection. That's what it meant. And so uh, if, if early Christians were only talking about the spirit of Jesus somehow still alive, the former Pharisee Saul of Tarsus, who becomes Paul the Apostle, would never have spoken of resurrection. If the ghost of Jesus had survived somehow, and was appearing to some of his friends to say, oh, I'm in heaven now, just you know, be happy, don't be sorrowful. I don't think the early church would have talked about the resurrection of Jesus. They'd have just talked about him being vindicated and his soul has gone up into heaven. Resurrection says that there's been a bodily event and that makes it very different, very distinctive. This is no ghost story. Easter is not Halloween. It's a very special event, and it then foreshadows the future resurrection for everyone.